The American carrier-based Henker drone MQ-25 Stingray, developed for the U.S. Navy, is planned to be integrated into the aircraft carrier air wing in three to four years. This was stated by U.S. Navy Vice Admiral Kevin Whitesell. To date, the MQ-25 Stingray, developed by Boeing as part of the U.S. Navy's carrier-based aerial refueling system program, has completed initial tests, in which it transferred fuel to F-A-18 Hornet, F-35C fighters and refueled the long-range radar aircraft E-2D advanced Hawkeye detection. In addition, the prototype made a series of runs on the deck of the aircraft carrier USS George H.W. Bush. The next step will be to test the drone with sorties at a distance of up to 500 miles from the aircraft carrier. The U.S. Navy did not fully disclose the test program, but it was reported that the NQ-25 Stingray is planned to be put into operation no earlier than 2026, and the USS Theodore Roosevelt will act as a platform. In September last year, Boeing announced its intention to build a special plant for the production of NQ-25 Stingray carrier-based unmanned tankers. According to the press service of the company, the plant will start producing the first devices in 2024. According to U.S. Navy officials, after testing is completed, the NQ-25 UAV will be able to perform the critical function of aerial refueling for all aircraft of the fourth and fifth generations of the carrier-based wing, aviation. At the same time, later the command plans to return to the creation of a shock version of the deck drone, with which the creation of the tanker began. In total, the U.S. Navy plans to purchase 72 Stingray units, allocating a total of about $13 billion for their acquisition. This will ease the load on the fleet of F-A-18F Super Hornets refueling other aircraft. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.